You know what, Kaki? I've always wondered to myself, what did come first, the chicken or the egg? Welcome, Raiders, to another Raid Shadow Legends video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about my thoughts on the new Fragment Summon Champion coming out, Miss uh, Estrogen Dream Song? No, I don't think that's her name. <laughs> I'm dying here. <clears throat> Yes, this is the new Sylvan Watcher Legendary Champion. Uh, player uh, has let us know about this champion. Let's look at her skill kit real quick. Aha. So, her name is actually Yostrid Dream Song. Sorry. A totally misunderstanding. I thought it was estrogen. You know, which would make sense because, I mean, she does look wifey material. I love my, you know, people love their Elvas, people love their Oellas, and some of the people like other champions we're not going to name. But uh, Yastra Dream Song definitely looks nice. Now let's look at this Force <clears throat> Support Legendary Champion. What does she actually do? And is she worth to go for? So let's look at the, uh, up here we got the A1. Let's kind of zoom into it for everybody so they can see it. <clears throat> Alright, so we got a Slumber Wisp. Attacks one enemy, has a 50% chance of placing a Sleep debuff for one turn. That's not bad. You can book that up to what, 75%? You could probably get it to 80% if you wanted to use Fearsome Presence in the Defensive Mastery. Maybe something you need to help out for, for Sand Devil. Other than that, that's kind of weird, right? Um, if the target is under decreased speed or weaken, and she does technically place that, I can kind of see that already there. Placed by this champion, has a 75% chance of placing sleep. Okay, so if the enemy has decreased speed or weaken already, she has a 100% chance to sleep. That's going to be annoying in Arena. Because if you get the A2 off, and they're slowed down, and she's probably going to be going fast, she could permanently keep someone slipped, and permanently decrease speed as well. Wow. Talk about, like, another Mikage being able to sleep and stun and stuff like that. She'll, this champion will be able to... I understand people probably thinking, but Jay, you're not going to use debuffs in Live Arena or Arena because you're going to get sheeped. Calm down. Anyways, A1, pretty decent. I wish it would have been... I wish it would have been, like, something... Like, I mean, it does have everything in her kit, which is, which is fine, I guess. But it's like, oh, man, that, that without the debuffs, it's like 75% kind of hurts. Would have been like maybe not, like 90, you know. But it's it, it makes sense because, you know, playing with the books and everything like that. So we, we're used to that. Let's look at the next one, which is going to be Burst of Spring. It's an AoE skill, okay. Attacks on enemies. Has a 75% chance of placing a decreased speed debuff and a 25% weakened debuff for two turns. I wish that would have been decreased defense, right? Because then you would see this champion probably a lot more in Arena. Also decreases the term meter of all enemies by 15% on top of that. That's pretty good. This is on a three-turn cooldown fully booked. You can get it to 100% chance. Nice. Uh, AoE decrease speed and weaken. You, you don't really you see a lot of AoE weakens and decreased defense. AoE decrease speed and term meter. But you get both. That is pretty nice. Let's look at the A3. A Blessed Dream Song. Places an increased speed buff and an increased attack uh, buff 50% um, on all allies. What?! Not for two, for three turns? Also fills the term meter of all allies by 15%. Okay, that is just nuts. Can you think Can you think of Nekmothar? Because she gets an extra turn as well. This is fully booked down to a four turn. That extra turn equals to three. She's boosting, which is, what, 15% closer to the next for most people as well. So you can look at it like a 2.75, 2.85, you know, a 2.85. That is nuts. And, and their buffs last for three turns, so by the time she's about to get to the skill, she's just going to do it again, which is going to get increased that speed again. That is pretty nuts, man. That Wow, that's a very powerful A3. Um, the passive is going to be uh, Life Bloom. I can't actually move myself out the way, unfortunately. Uh, I would have to <laughs> I would have to manually move my camera, which I can do real... Give me one second. Nope, not that one. This one. Yes, let me, let me move myself way down. All right, so it says whenever this champion or an ally has their term meter increased, not by her, it just says whenever. So what if the champion, like, an Armand's has it all in his kill, in his in his kit? Okay, well, you're not going to use probably arm unless, maybe, maybe. But you know what I'm saying, like, things like that, right? When you have a lot of term meter in your own kit. Heals all allies based on their max HP. Okay, the percentage value of the heal is equal to half of the term meter increase. Okay, so if I get a 30% term meter increase, I heal myself for 15% of my max HP. That is still a lot. Holy, that is, wow, wow. And then an, a speed lead, increasing all allies' 
speed in arena battles by 28%. What's with, what's with all the 28% all of a sudden? We got like Wukong, you got Armons, you got, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, what's the other champion? I feel like I'm missing one. Well, now her. Because, and Korra was, um, 19%, so was Kaja. Who was another, um, Wukong, Armons? I feel like there's another one that I'm missing. Hmm. Was, was, was Killian, um, Krillian... That 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 Night Revenant freezing champion was he? Yeah, he's thirty percent in arena battles. Yeah, Car uh, Carolyn the Ringer. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of speed arena arena only auras. I've noticed that. Yeah, a lot of them, dude. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if was it that myth? Was it this mythical that recently came out? No, he's crit. He's crit rate. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um. But anyways. Oh, what about the the legendary? Oh, he has resist. Okay, okay. I was just trying to think of like other champions that came out during that time. Oh, that's reset. Um, so what do I think about the whole kit? <clears throat> let's let's actually think about another champion real quick that's very similar, right? Nekmothar. Because a lot of people are talking about Nekmothar and saying this is like the Nekmothar replacement. Well, let's look, let's look at Nekmothar. She only she has arena battles only twenty percent Nekmos, nineteen percent everywhere. But most people don't use Nekmo anywhere else other than Hydra. So right there, he wins on the speed lead because you can technically use it in in Hydra. You can't use her. I mean, you could throw her in the lead and then have Sha Inquisitor Shamiel booster and blow. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, I just realized that too. Inquisitor Shamiel, who was ever in the lead, is gonna never die because they're always gonna get healed because of her passive. Yo. Oh, that's insane. No, I think she's gonna be. Ins I think she's gonna be. Literally, literally, that just blew my mind. I think that's gonna be insane for high for for PV and PVP. Now that I think about it, like what? There's a lot of turn meter in the game. Um, so like, yeah, you get you get thirty percent instead of fifteen percent from her, but she brings increased attack, and they literally do the exact same thing. Also, he only puts increased speed buff for two turns. She's doing it for three. Power creep. Okay, power creep. Let's look at the passive. Fills this champion's turn meter by 5% each time a debuff on an enemy is removed. Trans that is that is decent. That is that is pretty decent. But if she has higher base speed than him, you know, you might have to build her a little bit more speed than you would build maybe a Nekmo because you're probably building more accuracy on Nekmo. You, you have to still build an accuracy on her, right? On Miss uh, Dream Song. Um... Uh, Planner chains attacks on enemies, puts a decreased speed in a leech. Okay, leech is nice. But she's basically healing you from her passive anyways, so you don't need leech, right? You're getting decreased speed and weaken, which allows your enemies to do 25% more damage. So you're basically slowing down the Hydra Heads or the enemies in Arena and doing 25% more damage to them. His A1 does bring an AoE decrease attack, which we all know is amazing in PvE, usually, right? Because you don't want to use it in PvP and get sheeped because of a decreased attack debuff. But her A1 can sleep... Which is not really a good PvE. It's more for PvP. And it's a 100% chance. So I don't know, man. Like, overall, I mean, you might say Nekmo is a little bit better. But from looking at her, since we want more champions that are more versatile. You don't want to just build one champion and go, well, there you go. It's just stuck there. If I can build my Encore and use her everywhere, I will, right? If I can build my my Taras and use them everywhere, I will, right? It just makes more sense. Especially if we build them a PvP build and it, and it literally works both in, a, in Live Arena... Uh, classic arena and it works everywhere else in the game pve wise that's great value when you book your champion your master champion your gear your champion artifact ascent all that other stuff it's important to, to that's how you scale your pp in your account right really strong so overall for all the people who didn't get nekmothar or people who went too crazy on nekmothar you could probably skip this champion but i didn't go for nekmothar even though there was a guaranteed for him so am i actually gonna go for this champion i thought about joking about it and skipping her but actually if she's just basically another Nekmothar, yes, I'm going to do it, right? Hell yeah. Um, I've never pulled a Nekmothar on my account ever. Um, I don't have a Nekmo, and uh, I don't have a dupe. So since I've never pulled one, or two. But you know what? I, I kind of think that if I don't go for this champion that I... Look, look at my Sylvan Watchers. I have no faction guardians. So it would, it would make sense for me to go for this so I can actually start building up my faction guardians, right? So this is one of the reasons why I'm doing it. I've never gotten a dupe of Wella. I've never gotten a dupe like Emic or anything like that. So I, in my head, I'm like, man, I'm going to have to go for this champion. She's basically another version of Nekmothar, and I don't have a Nekmo, so I have to. And yeah, I actually like the champion. I think she's really decent. She's not super insane, OP, but she seems very viable for PvE and PvP for most players. 
just be careful when you use her A2 in, a, in Live Arena or, you know, Classic Arena. You might get sheeped, right? But, um, but yeah, overall, I like her, man. She can be used as a booster in Arena A3, right? She can be an Arbiter replacement if you don't need another Reviver, right? If you don't have a, if you don't have a Duchess, let's say you have a Kaja, you could, right? If you have Kaja the Rye, she doesn't, she doesn't give, like, um, uh, which, where is she over here, right? Kaja the Rye does not give increased attack. She gives you that, she gives you that 20% Term meter. She gives you that block debuffs buff and a, and a baby cleanse unless Timmit's there, right? I have a Kaja, so now I can get block debuffs, increase attack, and increase speed with two champions and get a 35% term meter boost with increased speed. Sounds pretty good, right? For people who don't have a Duchess, people who don't want to use Arbiter anymore, maybe their Arbiter's not plus two, plus three, whatever. Maybe like a norm, normal Arbiter with only like a two-star blessing, and you're thinking to yourself, well, maybe I should go for Dream Song, and there might be a guaranteed chance to get a blessing for Miss Dream Song. We don't know yet. So, anyways, thank you, readers, for watching this Rage Shadow video. That was my thoughts on this champion. I'm definitely going for it. Let me know in the comments if you're actually going for this champion or if you're going to skip it because you need a break from Raid. Anyways, it'll be starting April 4th. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, readers.